Hello, you're welcome to this very special edition of Gogi Africa. Right outside the National Arts Theatre, Lagos, Nigeria, yeah. which has been home to Gogi Africa Foundation School Conference. And we'll be here again in June. Today, we'll take a look at last year's conference, the role of youth in Nigeria's development. We'll also bring you sight and sound and tips for travelers. For those of you that like to travel. Well, I'm in Neka Isaac Moses, proudly dressed by Nalem. <laughs> and I was also dressed by Nalem. So stay back as we bring you clips from last year's event. Don't go away. Wooza, wooza, wa, go, the day included speakers, comedians, sponsors, and of course, school children. The event featured drama, dance, music, and proved to be a memorable event for all involved. On June 28, 2012, the National Theatre opened its doors to the Gogé Africa Foundation Schools Conference. Schools from across Lagos State made their way through the torrential rainfall to attend the event, and in total, over 4,000 school children took part. Everyone you've seen here today that is not in uniform is very much interested in the role of youth in Nigeria's development. Gogé Africa Foundation has packaged this event. If you all remember, those of you that have been here before, it is the seventh edition, meaning this is the seventh time we're calling students like you together here. The theme of the event was the role of the youth in Nigeria's development. And here's what some of the speakers had to say. Nigeria is a beautiful country. Nigeria is what? And we Nigerians are beautiful people. We Nigerians are what? We are hospitable people. We are what? And therefore, because we have a beautiful country, and that we are a beautiful people, youths in that country have an important role to play in national development. And we're here today because you are the youth of today and tomorrow. Before you came into your mother's womb, he has endowed you with talents. He endowed you with various talents. The essence of those talents is for you to harness them and make powerful impact on your nation, on your community, starting from your families. How you doing? But the truth of the matter is, what is Nigeria? Nigeria is Chikamata, Nigeria is Bogey Africa, Nigeria is you, Nigeria is you, Nigeria is you, Nigeria is us. Without us, then we know Nigeria, which is what development is about. It's about change. Anything is possible as long as you're willing to give it a try and you will not give up. It starts from one person and then it moves on and gradually it becomes a domino effect. Are you good? Means that Nigeria by 2020 will be one of the top 20, 20 economies in all of the world. Throughout the day, there were performances by students and professionals alike. <laughs> It is well, 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 well,
I don't want me to help and say, you know, they like, I read the all of them, they use candle. I don't think they explain what I come from. I read today, they ask me any problem. I said, no, no problem, pass my home. Now, I'm going to expect to shut up. They love me for central hotel. Mosquito, they didn't put it in Napana, in Napana. Now, I'm going to say, what 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 I'm going to say, the speakers came with gifts to contribute to the event. Pelican Post, a UK-based charity, distributes storybooks to schools across Africa to help improve literacy. So we send storybooks across all Africa to school children, okay? And the idea is to help them to learn literacy. So children to be able to read storybooks at school because it helps you have a more rounded education. Throughout the day, the speakers had many inspiring things to pass on to the students. Your vision is that thing which is invisible or which you know is possible. A vision can be set to be faith. And when you activate your vision, your vision becomes a material thing that can be seen. So stretch your possibilities and expand your imagination. You are the future of Nigeria. Raise your hands. You are the star that the world is waiting for. The world wants to celebrate you. And I think it's important that you realize that at this level that you are, you are laying a foundation 
upon which you will stand. The informal education sometimes might even be more important than the formal education. Because in most cases, for formal education, you're reading to pass. You're not reading to learn. But in informal education, you're reading to actually just learn because you're not taking any exams. Nobody's going to ask you questions. Whatever it is that you learn formally is just going to help you to develop yourself as an individual and to develop the people who are around you. The students were encouraged to think freely, get involved, and to understand their roles as the future of Nigeria. You like business studies and math. Are you very good in it? Are you sure? Very, very good. Many of the schools worked hard to present performances that demonstrated the cultural richness of Nigeria. <laughs> The National Theatre has been most supportive of the Gogi Africa Foundation School Seminar and other brands also provided their products in support of the youths with lots of gift items. Wow, so stand by now for sights and sound. <laughs> Ire Ekite in Ekite State is a home of Ogun, the Yoruba god of iron. The indigens who are vast in the use of iron for various artistic creations are predominantly hunters and blacksmiths. The Ogun festival is held annually in March in most towns in Ekite State. It normally attracts people from all walks of life, both in and outside of Ekite State particularly those whose profession have something to do with iron. The festival is a celebration of the great Ogun, the Yoruba god of iron. The festival is elaborately held for one week with a reenactment of the arrival of Ogun in Ire after his success in wars. The festival is usually celebrated in ways that fill the spectators with nostalgia, being a powerful entertainment and tourism resource. History has it that in the ancient times, the hunters who were the major worshippers of Ogun would line up their guns loaded with gunpowder and would start eulogizing Ogun, accompanied with music and dancing, and each of the guns will start to explode by itself in turns. The festival is usually led by the Balode Okiri, leading other Balodes and their followers to Ogun Shrine at Ogidigbo. The items commonly used for the sacrifice to Ogun include cooked beans, palm wine, kola nut, palm oil, roasted corn, yam and calabash, 
full of water, commonly called Igba Ogun. The type of dress that people wear are fresh palm leaves. They call it Mariwo, Lasha Ogun. That means the type of dress Ogun wears is the palm, palm leaves. And you will see so many places, people who are working with iron, the blacksmiths, they are done, they are working places with uh, this palm front. The Kitties, whose ancestors migrated from Ilefe as a people from one of the largest ethnic groups in Yoruba land. The state is potentially rich in mineral deposits. This include granite, kaolin, columbite, iron ore, gemstone, phosphate, limestone, gold, among others. The land is also blessed with water resources, namely Ikogosi Warm Spring and several others. For those of you that really like to travel as much as I do, stand by for travel tips. On Travel Tips, we bring you African islands for every type of traveler. Escapees in search of an island may be tempted to head for old favorites such as Southeast Asia or the Caribbean. But don't look any further than Africa. This huge continent is splattered with sun-fringed isles from country-sized behemoths to single shack atolls. For wildlife enthusiasts, Madagascar, 80% of the animals on this island are found nowhere else on Earth. For photographers, Zanzibar in Tanzania. Historic Stone Town is an intricate weave of narrow roads and alleys. On its balconies, tumbling plants and Arabic-style houses. The lively markets and street stalls are a treat too. And you'll not be short of inspiration along Kenyatta Road and Jizenga Street. For divers, Bazaruto, Archipelago, Mozambique. The warm Indian Ocean brings whale, sharks, manta rays, dolphins, turtles, mackerel, clownfish, Moorish idols, angel, parrot and butterfly fish to the area. For bird lovers, Bird Island Seychelles. From April to October every year, more than a million different species of birds hover around the sandy coral land that is one of Seychelles' most northern islands. Bird Island is also an important nesting site for turtles. For botanists, Sao Tome and Principe, tucked under the bulge of Africa, just 290 kilometers west of Gabon, is the tiny island nation of Sao Tome and Principe, where life unfolds at a delightfully mellow pace. These islands are a heaven for plant enthusiasts. 
And from Gogi, Africa, we say, Bon Voyage. It was an inspirational day and very outstanding as the youths of Nigeria were all gathered under one roof. True, who knows, we might have the next president, in fact, the future president in our midst. We're very excited at the next edition of Gogi Africa coming soon here at the National Theatre. Mm -hmm. And the theme is Peace for Progress. And of course, the centenary dance presentation to spice it up. We'd like to say a very big thank you to the National Arts Theatre and to lots of you who supported us last year. And we look forward to your support again this year. All in the bid to make Nigeria better. See you same time next week on this station. Bye-bye.